All right, here we go. Now we're using shadow play and we're just down to just my center monitor. And uh, the first thing, see how cool that is? It's already switching over. I wasn't, but anyhow, <clears throat> you're going to want to go to this website. This is a web address. I will put the link in the comments. Download this. Read these instructions because we're going to do it here in just a second, but that'll help you. And we will also be going over um, where did it go? Right here, screen region. That's what we will be setting up. Same thing, but there it is. And I guess the first thing we need to do is after you download that is extract it here's mine over here and pick your operating system Windows and you're going to want to copy this and then oops I shouldn't have clicked back it don't matter but then you're going to want to go to your installation of where OBS is they say program files 86 and yep right here it is so you need to merge all them files you just copied in there and if you come out here if you copied that folder because it's spelled exactly the same and you right click and then click paste it will automatically merge all that stuff into this folder perfectly and if you get two folders here you did something wrong you should it should look just like this when you're done all right so we're going to close out of that and once you do that you can check real easy if you come up here you should see advanced scene switcher if you have that then you installed it correctly all right so let's i guess instead of yeah let's um you know what i need to shut this off so we need to stop this don't don't pay no attention to that right now that's nothing so I'm just going to remove this and this one. It won't delete. Let me delete this because we need a factory one in there. So I'll just go here and put that in there just so I can go ahead and delete this one. Oops, we'll just hit that and then minus. All right. So this is kind of basically how your ears is going to be. <clears throat> freaked me out there for a minute I thought I stopped recording because I did this earlier and it didn't dawn on me that when I did that it would kill the recording but I'm using shadow play now I can see down here I'm still recording all right so what you want to do is for each monitor that you want to be able to bounce back and forth you want to make a scene so <clears throat> we're going to start right here and I'm going to do my left monitor <clears throat> and then <clears throat> excuse me then we want to do display capture and then we want to label this here I'm just going to left and then M for monitor you can't name it exactly the same it'll it won't let you all right and this part's kind of important we want to pick our left monitor which has Maya on it in my case not that one there we go so it's that one so okay all right so that one's set up now let's do our center center same thing add here display capture center m all right and it's already got the center monitor right off the bat so okay we gotta do one more for our right monitor like I said I'm only doing three so there's scene three and we want to name this right and then same thing here it's a display capture and right and look at that see that the buttons are stuck to H and the shift on you know this mouse key software I love this software but man I don't know why the keys are sticking like that so if I re-hit the keys it removes them but see now it messed up there we go all right 
right, let's get back to it. Okay. And we want the right monitor this time. So, let me see. There it is. That's our right monitor. Okay. All right. I'm going to delete this now because we don't need that. All right. So, there's left, center, and right as I click through them. All right. They're working. So the next thing we're going to want to do is create our regions. So back up to the tools, advanced scene switcher, and right here screen region. And they did this so nice. They gave us, okay, this here is to tell them the exact location of my, my cursor right now. So wherever I move it, those numbers move. So you've got basically four four places that enter information but I can tell you this X and Y is up in this corner I'm sorry okay let me go back here I need to explain this first see where it says switch to left center and right though that was named them names come from when we just entered these down here so whatever you name them down there and set that up they're gonna be right here so we want to make sure since I'm doing the center monitor right now so we want center and using you can cut or fade in between we're gonna fade all right now back to these numbers these numbers tell you know the region it's basically just laying out a square but it lets uh, this software know where your mouse pointers at or what zone it's in all right so we're going to go back up to this corner and you can see the numbers it says cursor is currently at 19 by 20 so I'm just going to round up to 20 here 20 by 20 and that those two numbers are that corner now so now yep you guessed it these two numbers are down here in this corner of this monitor so what do we got? It's saying 1891 by 1024. So let's move it to right around 1000 see where that's at. Alright. So let's just go 1900 by 1000. So we'll put those numbers in here. 1900 by 1000. Alright. Perfect. That's it this monitor is done once you get them numbers done you get this set and you're happy with this you have to hit the plus button right here boom that lets this know that anytime this pointer is in here it's going to turn on the center monitor very very awesome and it's pretty simple too but i don't like saying anything simple because when you're trying to figure it out nothing's easy all right so you need to do this for every monitor all right and now once again because I'm my I'm using shadow play it's only going to record my center monitor but when my mo when my pointer goes off the screen you'll see these numbers change and I'm doing the same thing I'm going to the top left corner for these two numbers and then the bottom right corner for these two numbers and I want to make sure this is corresponding so I'm going to do my left monitor right now so we'll go left and of course I want fade so I gotta find the numbers so I'll move my cursor top left on my left monitor so it's negative 1900 by say 10 I'm gonna round it it says 13 but I'm rounding 10 so negative 1900 by 10 alright now we need this so it's the bottom right hand corner so I'm going to move down here and it's saying what we can probably do negative 20 by a thousand so negative 20 by a thousand all right left using fade it's all good so hit the plus button again boom perfect now we will do the right monitor so click here go to your right go find your numbers so top left corner of the right monitor 
is saying 1934 by 3. I must have it really up in there. Uh, we'll just go 1920 by 10. So, oops. I want to go 1920 by 10. It's already there. Now, for these numbers over here, bottom right hand corner of the right monitor, which is what? Uh, it's saying 3800 by say 1050 so 3800 by 1050 or 1050 however you want to say it all right the right hand side faded got our numbers click the plus button all right that's done now all you gotta do is come back to the general tab come down here and click start all right i'm gonna close this and as you can see even though we're recording with um shadow play as i move my pointer to the next monitor you'll see right here because this is our screen recorder you will see it switches to the right monitor yes <laughs> and then to the left and it works too how beautiful that is just so cool should be part of windows operating system i mean come on we're almost 2020 and we still don't have very good support for multiple monitors but thank goodness these fine people who made all this stuff it works great so yeah it's it's awesome i hope this video i said three parts but i think this is sufficient i'm not going to have to make the third part uh, I think it's pretty well explained. If you guys got any questions, post them in the comments. Other than that, you all have a good one, and we'll catch you next time. A little later.